Let's talk about raising your standards. Hey change makers and change leaders, welcome back to my channel. It's Julia Cha. Today we're going to discuss an ultra, if not the most important topic when it comes to your success, which is to raise your standards. So many of you have already read lots of books. You probably work with therapists or coaches. You may have done different types of healing modalities, like energy healing and hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious because you thought that was the ticket to your next level. And then you may find yourself sort of in the same place. And then you wonder, what's wrong with my brain? What's wrong with me? Why can't I make this happen? Well, here we're going to crack into the truth of why you keep repeating the same issue. And that really comes down to standards. So much of self-development is so easy to talk about theories, but how the heck do you actually do it? So you get tangible real life results in your finances, in your relationships, or if you're looking to call in love into your life. Whatever reason it is that you've been on this path of growth really doesn't matter because every type of transformation and impossible goals can only come to fruition when you raise your standards. And let me be very, very specific when it comes to standards. You must raise your minimum standards, not your highest standards. Let me give you an example. Why is this? The reason is, is because the life that you're living right now in every aspect, the clothes that you wear, the house or the home situation that you live in, who you live with, your family relationships, your friendships, your social circle, you are living your minimum standard, not your highest standard or calling. When someone has an extraordinary outcome in a certain area of their life, it's because their minimum standard in that area of life is simply higher than yours. Somebody who has much higher income than you, they have very little tolerance for scarcity. That's an example. Someone who owns a beautiful home cannot tolerate living in a shoebox apartment. That's another example or living in less than favorable condition, that is also very subjective for each and every person. All of us have a minimum standard that we will fight to meet, no matter what. And that becomes your life. So much of the minimum standard that we talk about raising your standard has to do with the internalized state and the core emotional experiences of what you deserve. We internally have this, uh, this radar or the inner compass that dictates, this is your subconscious that dictates what we truly deserve. And we will do whatever it takes to fight and meet those minimum standards based on what we believe. Through and through, we have to believe this, what we truly deserve. So now, I'm going to share with you how you can raise your standards to deeply let that conditioning sink in to upgrade what you deserve for your inner compass and minimum standard to rise much, much high up, higher than what you so far experience, which will lead to you creating the tangible financial relationship or love living lifestyle situation upgrade that you are looking for. It is really important for all of you listening to this to understand how your subconscious programming forms and how your current standard or the feeling of deserving formed in the first place. And the most impactful programming happens at the most elementary level. I need to clarify this because a lot of times I see a lot of people shooting for this big goal, like million this year, 
million this year, that kind of thing, like seven figures, you know? Um, or it's like ultimate love or whatever it is. And people, it's kind of like being blindfolded and throwing darts, hoping that you will hit the bullseye. That's the feeling. So if you can relate to that, you really need to pay attention to this piece here. How your most basic programming is formed and how your most basic sense of standard, which really has to do with your self-worth, how you perceive yourself, how you view yourself, how you feel about yourself, self-esteem, that's, that's the foundation of your minimum standard. That's the foundation of standard, what you deserve. In James Clear book, uh, Atomic Habits, I think a lot of people like that book because that book actually, you know, it's, the concept is very data-driven, data back, but the concept is exactly what I'm about to describe here because there's no such thing as get this big goal without the foundation. So if you've been doing that, that's where you're going wrong. When I say elementary, it's, it may almost feel deflating, but elementary level of reprogramming happens, number one, with your your day-to-day -day needs, human needs, food. What kind of food are you ingesting? What are you putting into your body because you believe that's what you deserve? You need to upgrade that. Sleep. How well do you sleep and how good is your sleep? How comfortable is your sleep? How comfortable is your sleep environment? How comfortable is your bed or your mattress or your sleeping furniture, whatever you use, it really doesn't matter. How safe do you feel in your living space? How safe do you feel in your home? Clothing, personal hygiene, what are you wearing? Are you wearing things that have holes in them or stained or they're dirty or it doesn't fit properly? Uh, because your subconscious is experiential, your subconscious downloads the intention, the reason why you are not treating yourself and holding yourself to the highest regard at the elementary level. Personal hygiene. No matter how busy you are, don't you think you deserve a relaxing bath or a shower at the beginning or end of the day and a really good thorough one? Don't you think you deserve a haircut every six to eight weeks? Don't you think you deserve good hygiene products, good quality makeup, clean makeup, or if you, even if you don't use makeup, lotions, um, soaps, all of these things actually tie into how you treat yourself how you view yourself and that becomes your the part of what you perceive the foundation of your minimum standard upgrading these areas are beginner basics of upgrading your standards if you want to be this person of worth and you're wearing stained underwear shirts with holes frayed clothing you really don't need to spend that much money to be polished to pull yourself together to feel noble and regal to feel highly deserving and start from the basics of what people don't see every single day that is not driven by looks and status because those aspects the deeply personal and closer to your privacy Th those details are what truly affects your minimum standards. Second area, relationships. Who do you need to be in the relationships that you're carrying over because you've known these people for a long time or because they're blood related that makes you become someone you do not want to become. When you keep pleasing dysfunctional or toxic dynamics, when you having to be pleasant with these difficult people or dynamics or constantly being in a situation where you're being unheard, where you have to fight for your rights to have your needs met or to be heard, that already puts you very much um, in the energy of low standards. So you have a state and all of this, your state is what manifests abundance, 
If your state is influenced by all the negative dysfunctions and dynamics, your state is very sensitive and your energy will drop into scarcity or survival and your mind and focus will go towards things that do not build, rather it becomes a constant drain and expense. That drops your minimum standard to a much lower level. That's why your standard is not so much about how much money you have or how much money you don't have, it's what you're willing to tolerate. If you are a strong person and you are willing to tolerate the horrible, toxic, dysfunctional dynamic, that's where you're going wrong. You have to learn to let go and have less tolerance towards what doesn't deserve your time and your worth. That raises your vibration, your frequency to abundance, that raises your standards, and you start to seek the right opportunities, make the right decisions to give yourself the outcome that you deserve. You, you're literally, your choices, your judgment-making brain shifts and elevates when you make these small tweaks. They have such a great impact in your outcome. Number three is to experience luxury frequently. And when I say luxury, it doesn't mean you have to be a rich person. When I say luxury, it means that you have your needs met and more. Deep sleep to a lot of people is a luxurious experience and you can make the experience exquisite by having, for example, silk pillows. You can have it exquisite by adding a bedtime routine. That's luxurious. Now you can have this really relaxing candlelit bath if that rocks your boat and having the most beautiful rejuvenating sleep with silk pillows surrounded by beautiful aroma, whatever it is. This is luxury that doesn't cost a lot. It's just an example. It doesn't mean you actually have to do this, but this is an idea. If you want to take it and use it, do it because it will definitely help you. Another example is if you really enjoy certain type of shoes, that's somewhere that you can splurge more. If you really enjoy silk scarves, also be really in touch with your sensuality. Because when you're in touch with sensuality, that's luxury, that's elating the senses. And that really brings up your minimum standard because that takes up your frequency to another level. It really kicks it up a notch when you experience sensuality. It also means you, if you are that person who's, who really enjoys quality food, it can be luxury in terms of a really beautiful, high, handcrafted chocolate. For example, it really does not have to cost a lot. When I say luxury, it doesn't mean you have to go to Dubai or something like that, or stay in a five-star hotel, although those things are options that you can definitely do. But when, you, when I say luxury, it's not a one-time thing to raise your standards. Subconscious reprogramming happens with continuous repetition. The way you became programmed to a lower standard in certain areas of your life, to have a scarcity type of mindset is because you experienced many repetitions of not enoughness, lack, unavailability of resources, of nurture, of comfort in your life. This, is, this was not a one-time thing. That's why, what is the antidote? Is to experience many of these luxurious, nurturing, comforting experiences that truly elate your emotions. You're not doing it just for the sake of doing it. You're doing it because it really does, with practice, elevate your standards because now you're teaching yourself how you deserve to be treated through experience and your sensory nervous system becomes, you're re-educating essentially. You are um, recalibrating that internal compass to know what you deserve. When you do this, you will suddenly have awareness and everything is still the same in your life, but you start to see what doesn't serve you. That becomes so evidently clear, it will almost shock you. It's like, wow, that was the evidence was always clear. I wasn't aware. You keep repeating, and then with consistency, with that awareness, you start to have really clear sense of what you need to do next. 
What must you do? Because now your sense of deserving is much higher. What does this new version of yourself deserve? When you take proactive action towards that, you have elevated to the next level. When you give yourself what you, the new better version of, self, your, of yourself deserves, that's when you have reinvented and elevated to the next level. You can do this with every single area of your life. And in fact, practicing these areas will elevate you in terms of the type of people you choose, how much money you make, how much, what kind of lifestyle you deserve, what kind of work-life integration you deserve, all of these things have to do with your minimum standard. So the version of you who has a much higher minimum standard in terms of nurture, comfort, and what you deserve, you end up choosing everything in your life differently. And that, my friend, is the beginning of your best life. Thank you so much for watching. What did you think of this video? Drop some comments down below. What tip helped you the most? What other tips do you have when it comes to raising your minimum standards? If you'd like to do this work with me, with my close guidance, the enrollment to Rich and Loved is now open. Go down to the description box, click on my calendar link to book a conversation to see if this is the right fit for you to manifest and to reach your next level effortlessly. I truly believe in your ability to generate abundance and to create the life of your dreams on your terms. It's Julia Cha, thanks for watching and see you in my next video.